part five of our surface area of composite solid series. This will be the last video in this series. Uh, here we're going to take a look at two more examples and try to find the surface area of the entire composite solid. So right here we're looking at a it looks like uh, some sort of rectangular prism and we have a cylinder removed from the center and that's going to really play a big part into how we calculate this because uh, as you can see we if we zoom in it's not the greatest picture in the world but you can see that there is a cylindrical core that is removed from here so as we calculate surface area we have to think about what to subtract and also what to add so let's take a uh, let's get started here let's go to our formulas we want to maybe think about the formula for the surface area of let's do the prism first so it's the prism well the surface area for a prism is let's see 2 times L times W plus 2 times L times H plus 2 times W times H so let's just assign this L W and H so we go 2 times L times W 10 times 14 plus 2 times 10 times 12 plus 2 times 14 times 12 however that's not exactly completely accurate because again we have to remove a circle from the top and from the bottom so we have to do some subtracting now so let's subtract let's subtract the two circles there are two of these circles 2 times pi times r squared radius squared the radius of this of this cylinder is 2 so we're taking this whole prism that we just calculated minus 2 pi r squared and after we do that then we have to actually add think about this for a second we have to add the surface of the inside of the cylinder because if we're thinking about you know this shape and asking ourselves what actual pieces are on the surface you have to include that inside cylinder because you know if the air can hit that right air goes down inside and hits those surfaces even though they're kind of hidden from our view more or less uh, they are on the surface so we have to calculate them so we're going to add that to the lateral surface area of a, of a cylinder remember cylinders are basically made up of a circle on top a circle on the bottom and the part that wraps around them that part that wraps around them is the lateral surface area it's the side <clears throat> and that is the the area of that is given by the circumference times the height 2 pi r h so we type all that stuff in radius is 2 squared radius is 2 height is the whole height of the cylinder so what we're doing is we're taking this subtracting this adding this and we are good to go so if you type all that into your calculator and you see what you get surface area total is 981.664 square inches number two right, number two we have a cone on top of a cylinder on top of a hemisphere and our job is to find the surface area of the entire thing so here we go surface area of the cone the surface area of the cone is the circle on the bottom plus the lateral part but we don't want the circle on the bottom because it's missing it's hidden from view so we cross it off surface area for a cylinder is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h but the cylinder is even more interesting because the top of the cylinder is hidden from view it's not on the surface and the bottom isn't either so we go and we cancel out 
2 pi r squared. Remember, pi r squared is one circle, 2 pi r squared is the top and bottom. So it's important to know like what these formulas actually stand for. 2 pi r h is the lateral surface area. It's the part that wraps around the side. Okay. Lastly, the surface area for a hemisphere is 2 pi r squared. And that's simply just 4 pi r squared divided by 2. 4 pi r squared is the surface area of the entire sphere. We only want half of it. So we only want this half. So that doesn't need to get altered in any way. But anyway, once we're done with all that, all those calculations here, and we've figured out what to delete, what to add, just line it up all together. And see if you can fill in all the stuff. The radius of this is 85. The lateral, or excuse me, the slant height would be this right here. Don't know what that is. I'll come back to that in a moment plus 2 pi times 85 times the height. This is uh, the cylinder height, 132. So try to keep these organized. This is the cone, this is the cylinder, and this is the hemisphere. So 2 pi r squared. All right, lateral, excuse me, slant height. Slant height, we're going to calculate by using Pythagorean theorem. We've done this before. Shouldn't be anything too spectacular to you. We're going to just simply draw a right triangle out here. The height is 96. The base is 85. And we want to find the slant height. So go ahead and use your Pythagorean theorem. And you get, let's see, 96 squared plus 85 squared equals the slant height squared and that comes out to a pretty big number. Let's see here. The slant height is 128.222. So that's what your slant height was right here. So you type that in. Type that slant height in right there. And enter everything all together and you get this number. 150,133. And that concludes our surface area composite videos. All right, where we're heading here from here, we're gonna actually, I'm gonna put a, a bunch of practice problems on the on my next video. I'm not gonna go through them, but I will uh, also include the answers. Uh, if you were if you were to scroll down on the video, so uh, look forward to that.